Hello, you beautiful people. Hello. Uh, spring has sprung in the city and something really exciting has happened. Yes, it's beautiful. And everywhere you go, you've got lots of this. Blossom. That's right. Really exciting. So uh, we've been researching the science of Blossom and it's absolutely fascinating. Yeah, there's all kinds of amazing things to share with you guys. A little bit of confession, a um, bit cheesy, but my surname is Blossom. It's Blossom on Blossom. <laughs> so, uh, lots of really extraordinary things to show you. Uh, enjoy. Yeah. That lady over there loves a bit of Blossom. She's uh, getting up. Uh, what is a Blossom? Well, a Blossom is a flower, obviously. But are all Blossoms flowers and all flowers Blossoms? According to the definition, not. A blossom is a flower that occurs on a tree or a shrub, like that one over there, but not necessarily a flower which you would just see growing on the ground. And also, the flowers on the trees and shrubs often turn into fruit, which we are then able to eat. One thing that I think is super cool about blossom is its co-evolution with insects. So, flowers evolved in plants about 130 million years ago. And at the same time, we see an explosion of the number of insects. And they were kind of supporting each other. It's the idea of a co-evolution. The plants with the flowers and the insects doing the pollination. And because of that, many different insects have evolved to look in lots of different ways. Uh, and likewise, lots of different shapes of flowers and blossoms as well. That is super cool. Okay, so let's get a little bit more intimate with some blossom and we're going to do a dissection and see what's going on inside now within this blossom there are the male parts these yellow anthers that have the pollen on them and then the female bit is the stigma bit in the middle there and the aim of the game is for an insect to be attracted to the look of the petals and the smell and the taste of the nectar and the pollen and they then snuffle their way in and inevitably get some of the pollen on their body and when that insect then flies off to another flower, that pollen gets rubbed off onto the female bit of the stigma of the other plant. Now, if the pollen is from the right kind of plant that matches, it will then germinate, and it, germination will go down the style, the female bit, into the ovary at the bottom here. And the fertilizes the white ovules, which then become seeds. And then the whole of that female bit at the bottom grows to be become a fruit containing the seeds inside. And uh, we all love the fruit. We often think of blossom as being a spring thing. And yes, in the spring, we get a big bloom of blossom coming on. And there might be a couple of reasons that. Maybe the plant needs a nice long growing season to be able to grow really big fruit, which is helpful for it. But actually, you can see blossom throughout the whole of the year. A plant might go through a cold period and then it feels the warming up after the cold period. And that's called vernalization. And then one particular gene within the plant will get switched on and it will tell all the other genes that are in charge of the reproductive flowering of that plant to really kick in and to start producing flowers. So temperature is one thing, but another thing is actually sunlight. Plants have photoreceptors, they can detect light or not. And a certain amount of light that a plant receives will again stimulate one particular gene to tell other genes whether it's time to flower or not. There are many different colors of blossom. Now just looking around, I can see red, pink, purple, white, I've got a nice light pink here in my hand. And the reason they have different colours is because they have different pigments within them. Now, the pigments are called anthocyanins and there are genes within each plant which will control the type of anthocyanin and the quantity of it. So that will give it a different colour and a different shade. And it might be benefit for one blossom over another blossom to have a different colour because it will be drawing in and attracting different types of insects and therefore losing some of the competition with the other blossoms that are around them. So that is the reason we have lots of different colours of blossom. That was Blossom on Blossom, which sounds like a hair product. <laughs> yes, it does. But 130 million years in the evolutionary making, <laughs> Blossom breeds brilliant jugglers, but also food. Yeah. Fruit that we can eat, and that's what we love about it. Go on, Adam. Slightly creepy. Uh, please come back and watch some more of uh, our videos and his mm -hmm. videos, uh -huh. uh, and subscribe to the channel if you get a second. Yeah. Bye. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>